Hello and welcome. I'm Zach Yuson, and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. Have recent events taken a toll on Senator Grace Poe? In a speech during a conference on child welfare, Poe's voice cracks as she pays homage to her adopted parents, movie stars Susan Rosses and Fernando Poe Jr. Poe wasn't able to hold back her tears. For these three people, the child and the adopted parents, and the beneficial effects of life, lives made fuller, richer, and more mindful. Um, I thank each and every one of you again for the work that you do. It is not easy. Senators Juan Ponce Enrile and Bong Revilla face another set of charges for the alleged misuse of public funds, but this time not involving pork barrel scam mastermind Janet Napolis. Lawyer Levito Baligod says Enrile gave 15 million pesos and Revilla 10 million pesos to dubious NGOs. Baligod adds former National Agribusiness Corporation President Alan Javeliana is the mastermind. At least 20 lawmakers are involved in the new case, including former Senator Edgardo Angara and TESTA Chief Joel Villanueva. Vice President Jejomar Binay and his son, suspended Makati Mayor Junjun Binay, face another plunder complaint. Lawyer Nato Bondal accuses the Binays of receiving around 500 million pesos in kickbacks from the tuition fees from the University of Makati College of Nursing. The elder Binay spokesman, Joey Salgado, dismisses Bondal's complaint as baseless allegations and challenges critics to face them in court. <laughs> German Chancellor Angela Merkel says Europe's Schengen Zone is under threat. This comes as European countries struggle with thousands of migrants entering their territory. Statistics reveal over 230,000 migrants arrived in Greece this year, more than the whole figure of 219,000 Europe-wide for 2014. <laughs> Google launches its new logo. The logo keeps its four-color scheme but shifts to a soft, sans-serif font and replaces the blue lowercase g icon with an uppercase g combining blue, green, red, and yellow. This comes just weeks after Google gets tucked in under a new parent company called Alphabet. Google says it's refreshed its logo to better suit mobile devices. And that's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our daily updates at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Zach Yusan. Remember, tomorrow begins today.